Men usually fall into three types of lifestyles. The incel who spends all his time in the virtual world, the normal guy who works a 9 to 5 he hates, takes out the mortgage and has a fat wife, or the guy who hustles hard, gets rich and lives the hedonistic party lifestyle of drinking and banging like an animal. All of these are terrible ways to live. When I started my self-improvement journey, I didn't know where I was headed. I just did stuff that I had read about. But directionless self-improvement is slow and ineffective. Everything changed when I started thinking about the perfect life a man could have. Now I know exactly where I'm headed and I'm going at 100 miles per hour, baby. Any man can achieve the perfect life for himself, including you. In this video, I will show you what that looks like. Hi, my name is Dennis. My goal with this channel is to help people transform their lives through self-improvement. This is not the typical productivity channel to make you feel better about yourself and give you some BS advice. I take self-improvement seriously. It's my ideology, my way of viewing the world. This channel is for ambitious people who want to make the best of their lives. No matter where you are on your self-improvement journey, you're welcome here and I believe I can help you. Thanks for watching and taking action in your life. I'm proud of you. Now, before I dive in and tell you about the perfect life, let me just say why the three lifestyles I offered at the start are terrible ways to live. First, you've got the incel. Why do you not want to be an incel? Why not spend your time playing video games, watching porn? Well, because you feel fucking miserable. You hate yourself when you do that. It's a life of regret. Nobody wants to be the incel, let's be honest. Even the incels don't want to be an incels. They are just too scared to face the world. You also, you don't want to be the normal guy. Why? Because you forever be stuck working a job you hate, going home to a wife you don't like, and having to work that job because you have to pay for the kids and the house and everything. You don't want to be stuck in the system like that fucking guy. And the third life, and this is what frustrates me the most. Young guys think that the third hedonistic party lifestyle is the best life to live. These guys are miserable. They may glorify their life. The hedonistic guys who just have sex, party every day and drink every day, they're miserable, bro. They feel empty as fuck. And eventually, after hustling hard and pretty much wasting their youth just working, then they party for like 10 years and then in their 40s they discover God. After doing all the bad shit, they suddenly discover God and turn Muslim or Christian or whatever. That's what happens with the hedonistic guys. But they have an empty life, they feel miserable. And a lot of young guys glorify this type of lifestyle where in my opinion it's absolutely idiotic to live this way. These are the three lifestyles guys fall into. We must avoid that, so I'm gonna propose to you a lifestyle which should give you the best life possible. And almost nobody lives this kind of lifestyle. In fact, I've never heard a single person, I've never seen a single person have all the components of the perfect lifestyle together. It's not that difficult to put them together. It probably takes only a few years. So for the perfect lifestyle, you need three components. The first is ideology. A man without an ideology is nothing. I talk about being logical and basing your decisions off of logic. But what logic? The logic of your ideology. Your ideology is the thing you fall back upon when you have to make a decision. You need to have a view of the world a view of your life, a view of yourself that lets you make decisions consistently correctly. You need to have beliefs about God, about meaning of life, at least the meaning of your life. You need to have a moral system. You won't hear a single self-improvement YouTuber tell you about this. But if you don't have a philosophy, an ideology, a religion, if you want to, if you don't have that, you will feel empty and your decisions will be inconsistent. Because right now, think about your decisions. What are you basing your decisions off of? 
it's probably because you want to make a little bit of money and you want this and you want that that's a bad way to think that's a bad way to make decisions because it might lead to degeneracy every man needs an ideology and i'm the first self-improvement youtuber to tell you that to find your ideology you need to contemplate a lot you need to write every day you need to read philosophy religion all that shit me personally i'm kind of nihilistic i don't believe in gods i have a bunch of ideas about good pleasures and bad pleasures and the conscious and the emotional side of the brain listen i won't get into it <laughs> it's too much to speak in one video about but you need to have an ideology a clear view of the world a clear moral system a clear system of priorities for yourself and that's one of the three components for the perfect life the second component is the internal world this is your mentality every man needs a strong ass internal world a strong mentality if you have a weak mentality you always be depressed you always feel negative you always get down by whatever happens in life and you will never go through the hardships to achieve a good life in the first place now i think that there are four qualities which give you that strong mentality the first is ambition ambition is to desire to desire success and this is why i don't believe in the stoic philosophy the stoic philosophy tells you you should let go of all desires but to desire is to live every man should be ambitious it's such a powerful feeling and it drives you forward so you must have endless ambition in you the second quality of the elite mentality the ruthless mentality is rationale you need to be able to think clearly and to make decisions out of logic you need to seek knowledge and contemplate all the time a strong man is a rational man you need to have the rationale of a philosopher if you're a rational person you will be unshakable in your decisions the third quality you need to have is discipline none of this matters that i tell you about if you don't have the discipline to actually apply it discipline is one of the most important things and every man must be disciplined you must be disciplined over the long term to be a stubborn fuck and never give up you must be disciplined in the short term so when it gets hard in your work you persevere discipline and the fourth quality maybe i'm the first fucking guy to say this quality is important but i've never heard it said before serenity serenity is the quality of a man to be calm no matter what happens in your life because some shit is gonna happen you're gonna lose money you're gonna lose people you're gonna lose your head sometimes you make mistakes you must have the quality of serenity serenity is to accept everything as it is without deluding yourself serenity is the quality to be able to let go of the negative emotions serenity is the quality to be able to focus on the present without all the time worrying about past or future every man needs to have this quality so it's ambition to desire rationale to know discipline to do and serenity to be calm this is what the perfect mentality of a man is and you will not hear self-improvement youtubers tell you about ideology and mentality this way but these are two of the most two of the three important things in a man's life and then finally the third one is the external world the external world is what will give you the satisfaction in life so we've got an ideology which we based our decisions off of we've got a strong ass internal world strong ass mentality which will make us pretty much invincible to suffering we can overcome anything with this mentality next you need an external world the external world is what will give you the happiness in life is what will give you the satisfaction there is three components to the external world one is health and in the thumbnail it says strength because it's more attractive but what i mean is health this is the self-improvement habits i mostly speak of 
you know, meditation, journaling, training, combat sports, you know, resistance training, cold exposure, cold showers. This is taking care of your health. Every man must have a strong body and a strong mind. It's an absolute pleasure to train. It's an absolute pleasure to exercise your mind, exercise your focus through meditation. And this is an essential component if you want to be satisfied in life. The second component is purpose. Every man must have a purpose. A purpose gives you meaning. The, your purpose is the meaning of your life. People know you by your purpose. John the fireman, Terry the policeman, Cristiano Ronaldo the footballer. Your name is connected to your purpose. Everybody knows you by it. So whatever you decide your purpose to be, that is the meaning of your life. Set some ambitious ass goals and pursue your purpose. And that's the second component you need to have a great life, a purpose you love, you genuinely love. You need to have a purpose which you'd love doing even if you had all the money in the world. I would love to make content and educate people and discuss self-improvement if I had all the money in the world. This is what your purpose needs to be. It's not just about money. Money is great because it gives you freedom. Yes. But you need to love your purpose anyway. And the final third component for a satisfactory external world is people. You need to be surrounded with positive people. That is to say, a wife, you know, a girl, friends, you know, a brotherhood. You need absolute brothers, men you can rely on, great friends, real friends, not some phony ass motherfuckers. And you need a family, of course. This is your children, your parents, your brother, real brother, cousins, whoever is close to you in your family. But for a satisfactory life, you need a satisfactory social life. And this is the perfect life for a man. You need an ideology to base your decisions off of. You need a strong internal world, which will make you invincible to suffering. That's the elite mentality. That's the ruthless mentality. And you need a great, great external world, a great life setup, so you can feel the pleasures and satisfaction and fulfillment from life. You don't do that by being hedonistic. You don't do that by drinking alcohol and abusing substances. So please don't pursue that life. You get tired of it real fucking quick. And uh, you also need a schedule. You know, schedule allows you to organize everything and make it simple day to day. I want you to write down your perfect day according to your purpose your health your social life write down your perfect day and aim to achieve that every single day this is the best life a man can live thanks for watching stay ruthless pursue the best life okay ideology internal world external world that's what it's all about that's what self-improvement is about you have one existence you have one life you want to make it the best you want to make it such a life that it cannot be repeated. That is my goal with my life. What is yours? Thanks for watching. Check out this video. Fuck off.